I was born in Barbados, in the Caribbean. I came to the United States with my mom and my sister. I was born in the UK. I lived in Japan, Brazil. I've also lived in Italy and Germany. Well, I was born in Brazil, São Paulo, and I moved to England, to London. I was born in São Paulo, Brazil, and I moved to the United States in 2006. I was born in Nietzsche, and I had to move when I was nine years old to Brazil. I was born in Ecuador. I first moved to France, then to the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, the US. I was born in Sao Paulo, in Brazil, and I moved to US. I was born in Tokyo, Japan, to a Canadian father and Japanese mother. So I was born in Japan as a Canadian citizen. I was born in London. In 1973, in the Middle East, in Israel, there was a war. There, I met my future wife. She was from Brazil. So, six months later, I came to Brazil. When I left Brazil, I felt that I needed to find Brazil somewhere else. So my first four years living in London, I was basically trying to find Brazil here until the moment I understood that I needed to find London, not Brazil. When I first moved, I was very, very excited. I was ready to, to experience the life in, in US. I didn't want to leave Brazil. So it was a lot of mixed feelings. My parents were a bit scared, but as a child, uh, I thought it was fun. I saw rain for the first time, so I was really excited. You know, it's just like an adventure, you know, riding the subway, seeing super tall skyscrapers that I've never seen before. When I was 11, we moved to Canada. So I arrived to Canada, I guess technically, returning Canadian citizen, but I had never lived in Canada before. Kids were mean, well, not all of them, but a lot of them were mean. And I got beaten up behind the school building a lot. And it was difficult, especially as I thought, I'm Canadian, you know, I'm not a, you know, an immigrant. And why, why was I being treated that way? Altogether, the cities that I've lived, I experience discrimination, racism, but I also experience in others inclusion, uh, acceptance for diversity. When I got back home after my first period abroad, I felt like I'd grown, like I'd had an experience that none of my friends had had. Yeah, I never went back. <clears throat> I never went back. I didn't have the opportunity. There was a time when Jews were not uh, very welcome. We were not very comfortable, you know, trying to get into Egypt. There's part of me that only realizes how mixed and how many things I carry within myself when I leave London, that I realize how different I am nowadays and how many new values I carry that are not part of my old culture, let's say. And suddenly I don't feel I belong anywhere anymore. I changed it a lot. And I like to believe that I change it for better. The change in perspective gives you the, the opportunity to do that. So I don't feel like I belong in Brazil anymore. But at the same time, I'm not an American. It changes your views economically, socially, family-wise. I think it broadens your horizons um, as well. I really appreciate the mix of culture that I've had and the experiences that I've had. I feel they've made me into the person that I am today. But at the same time, it can be very disorientating. You open up this new life in a different place and then you go home. That place stays like a parallel universe. And then I did it again in Japan. And then I did it again in Germany. And then I did it again in um, Brazil. So I don't have one home. I have many homes. I would never give up the experiences that I've had, but I would be lying if I would say it's easy to handle. It's interesting because I think when I'm here, I am like 85, 90% American. When I'm there, I'm 95% Barbadian. It's almost like you switch back and forth between, or you toggle back and forth between two cultures. 
I have this feeling that there's a part of being Brazilian that will never leave me and that I don't want it to leave me. I like to be close to people and that's something that is very much Brazilian or, or from uh, warm countries. When I met my wife and uh, her father, and I remember I got off the plane and her father came up to me and he gave me a hug, which is not very English. And I thought, what are these people, you know? Uh, even though now I have to be careful here in England not to do the same thing. I think that living abroad changed me immensely. It made me see so many different ways of thinking that if you've grown up in somewhere like England, especially in a small town, that you grow up thinking in exactly the same way as all the people around you. And then next thing you're in Japan and everything that you thought was real, you suddenly realize there's an entire country that don't think that way. You realize that the entire globe doesn't think the same way as you. Japan has a long and rich history. That is central to the nation's uh, identity. There is also a negative attitude towards immigrants as well. While Japan is a very tolerant uh, society, there's a dislike in particular of other Asians that are there under the surface. There's, you know, not the similar hate, let's say, for, for Caucasian people or others, but there is always this sort of, you're not from here, you're an outsider. Culture really shapes us, and this is why, to say the least, is often challenging and stressful, sometimes even destructive or demoralizing when we partially or drastically have to change culture or environment. For the fact that I live it in, in different places, I, I know that there are you know, multiple ways for you to live your life, and uh, it's easy for me to adjust and kind of define how I want to live my life. I think that overall, being of two cultures has been um, much more positive than negative. To have the ability to, to say, you know, there's this way and then there's another way of doing things. And I'm not saying one's right or, you know, the other's wrong, but being able to at least choose and think that way is to me much more beneficial. I feel privileged, in a sense, to be exposed to different cultures and also to keep my own native culture alive with me and within my community. Today, it's changed completely. I mean, today, everyone goes abroad and they, that's what they want to experience. It's part of like the new era. Everyone has to be a little bit more mixed and more open to each other's cultures because the world's becoming a big one thing that, you know, our job nowadays is to push ourselves more into being open to other cultures and try to get the best of each.